Good day class, in this video, we will discuss about tenons. Let us first define the definition and background about tenons. The term tannin was first used by Seguin in 1796 to denote substances which have the ability to combine with animal hides to convert them into leather which is known as tanning of the hide. Where can we find tannins in plant? Tannins are found in leaf, seed, root, bud, and stems. They are often found in growth areas of plant like secondary phloem and xylem and layer between cortex and epidermis. They help regulate growth of this tissues. Tannins are manufactured by chloroplast-derived organelle the tannosum. Tannins are physically located in the vacuoles or surface wax. These storage keep them active against predators. They are called ergastic substances, the non-protoplasmic material found in the plants. What are the sources of tannins? The best known human dietary sources of tannin are tea and wine. Most wines aged in charred wooden oak barrels possessing tannins absorbed from naturally occurring tannins in wood which is seep in wine giving its signature bitterness. Persimmons contain less content of tannin when ripened but high when not. Strawberries and blueberries also contain both hydrolysable and condensed tannins. Nuts like almond and walnut contain less quantity. Clove vanilla, cinnamon, and cumin have tannins. Chocolate contains about 6%. The following are tests for tannins first is the gold beater's skin test. Gold beater's skin is a membrane produced from the intestine of ox. It behaves just like untanned animal hide. A piece of gold beater's skin previously soaked in 2% hydrochloric acid and washed with distilled water is placed in a solution of tannin for 5 minutes. It is then washed with distilled water and transferred to 1% ferrous sulfate solution. A change of the color of the gold beater's skin to brown or black indicates the presence of tannin. Hydrolysable and condensed tannins both give the positive gold beater's test while pseudotannins show very little color or negative test. Another test is the phenazone test. This is done through the following procedure. To 5 ml of aqueous solution of tannin containing drug, add 0.5 g of sodium acid phosphate. Warm the solution, cool and filter. Add 2% phenazone solution to the filtrate. All tannins are precipitated as bulky, colored precipitate. Next is the gelatin test which is done by the following procedure. To a 1% gelatin solution, add little 10% sodium chloride. If a 1% solution of tannin is added to the gelatin solution, tannins cause precipitation of gelatin from solution. Then the test for Kate Chin which is the modification of the well-known fluoroglycinol test for lignin. Match stick contains lignin. Dip a match stick in the dilute extract of the drug, dry, moisten it with concentrated hydrochloric acid, and warm it near a flame. Kachin in the presence of acid produces fluoroglycinol which stains the lignified wood pink or red. And lastly is the test for chlorogenic acid with the following procedure. A dilute solution of chlorogenic acid containing extract, if treated with aqueous ammonia and exposed to air, slowly turns green indicating the presence of chlorogenic acid. At this point, let's discuss about properties of tannins. Tannins are non-crystallizable, amorphous compounds. They are soluble in water, ethyl alcohol, glycerol, acetone, and in dilute alkalis. Their aqueous solution shows an acidic reaction and a sharp astringent taste. Most of the tannin compounds cause precipitation of solutions of alkaloids, glycosides, gelatin, and heavy metal salts of copper, lead and tin. Tannins produce a deep red color with potassium ferricyanide and ammonia. With freshly prepared ferric chloride solution hydrolysable tannins produce blue-black precipitate while condensed tannins show brownish-green precipitate. Based on the structural characteristics of tannins, it can be possible to divide tannins into four major groups. First are gallatinins which are tannins whose galloyl units or their metadipsidic derivatives are bound to diverse polyol, chin, or triterpenoid units. Another type are elogotannins which are tannins having at least two galloyl units coupled to each other, and do not contain a glycosidically linked chin unit. Next is complex tannins which are tannins whose chin unit is bound glycosidically to a gallatinin or an elogotannin unit. And lastly is condensed tannins having oligomeric and polymeric pronthocyanidins formed by linkage of one chain with another monomeric chain. 
Another basis of classifying tannins are recognized based on their hydrolytic reaction and nature of phenolic nuclei involved in the tannin structure. This include the hydrolysable, non-hydrolysable, and complex tannins. First classification is the hydrolysable tannins. These tannins are hydrolysable by mineral acids or enzymes such as tannase. Their structures involve several molecules of polyphenolic acids such as gallic, hexahydrodiphenic, or ellogic acids, bounded through ester linkages to a central glucose molecule. There are two types of tannins, the galitannins and the ellogotannins. Here are some of the plant sources of hydrolysable tannins and its types. One of the important hydrolysable tannin is the tannic acid. Tannic acid is not a single constituent but a type of hydrolyzable tannin that contains several units of gallic or ellogic acids esterified with the glucosyl O to produce complex tannin compounds. Tannic acid is extracted with a mixture of water, alcohol, and ether. The extracted liquid separates into two layers. The aqueous lower layer contains gallotinins while the ethereal layer contains free gallic acid and other similar compounds. Aqueous and ethereal extracts are treated separately for further purification. Tannic acid occurs as amorphous powder containing brownish spongy masses. It has a faint odor and strong astringent taste. It is soluble in water, alcohol, and acetone but insoluble in organic solvents. Tannic acid has strong astringent properties. It is used as an antidote in cases of alkaloidal poisoning as it precipitates alkaloids as tannate salts. Another class of tannins are the non-hydrolysable or condensed tannins. The compounds containing condensed tannins contain only phenolic nuclei which are biosynthetically related to flavonoids, catechin and leucoanthocyanidins. Catechin which is found in tannins is flavin 3 ol while leucoanthocyanidins are flavin 3 4 diol structures. These phenolics are frequently linked to carbohydrates or protein molecules to produce more complex tannin compounds. The following are the sources of our non-hydrolysable tannins. The last classification of tannins complex tannins. These tannins are mixture of both hydrolysable and condensed tannins. This term complex tannins has been applied by Okuda to a newly discovered group of tannins which are biosynthesized from both a hydrolysable tannin and a condensed tannin. These tannins are isolated from the Comertaceae, Phagaceae, Quercus, Castanea, Myrtaceae, Polygonaceae, Rum, and Theaceae, Camellia. Let's now discuss the different plant sources of tannins first is the pale catechu, or also known as gambir, pale catechu, and catechu. Its biological source is the dried aqueous extract produced from the leaves and young twigs of Uncaria gambir that is native of erstwhile Malaya. Specific chemical tests for identifying catechu is the gambir fluorescin which is present in pale catechu giving the fluorescence appearance. A little sodium hydroxide is added to its alcoholic extract and shaken with petroleum ether. The petroleum ether layer shows green fluorescence. Pale catechu contain from about 7% to 30% of pseudotannin catechin and 22% to 55% of a phlobotannin catechutinic acid. Both of the component constitute over 60% of the drug. It also contains catechu red and kercetin. It contains indole alkaloid up to 0.05%, which includes gambir tannine and its derivatives. Gambir tannine gives a strong fluorescence under UV light. Catechin forms white, needle-like crystals, which dissolves in alcohol and hot water. Catechutinic acid gives green color with ferric chloride. Speaking about its uses, pale catechu is medicinally used as local astringent. It is used as general astringent in diarrhea. It is largely used in various countries of East for chewing with beetle leaf. Large proportion of gambir is used in dyeing and tanning industries. It is used for tanning of animal hides to convert it to leather. Another plant source of tannin is the black catechu also known as kutch, black catechu nd katha its biological source is the dried aqueous extract prepared from the heartwood of acacia catechu. Speaking of its chemical constituents, Kutch or black catechu resembles pale catechu or gambir in its composition. It contains about 2% minus 12% of catechin and about 25% to 33% of phlobotannin catechutinic acid. 
The principal fraction of Kutch has been identified as a mixture of Kachin isomers which includes Epikotekin, Akotekin, Akokotekin, Akokotekin, and Isoakokotekin. It also contains 20% to 30% gummy matter, Kachin red, Kercetin and Quericotin. It yields 2% to 3% of ash. Kutch is used in medicine as astringent. It cures troubles of mouth, diseases of the throat and diarrhea. It also increases appetite. In India and eastern countries, it is used in beetle leaves for chewing. In dyeing industries, kutch is used for dyeing fabrics brown or black. It is also used in calico printing. The next plant source is myrobalan which is derived from the mature dried fruits of Terminalia chibula family Comrataceae. The drug is popular in India. In terms of chemical constituents, myrobalan contains about 30% of the hydrolysable tannins, which consists of chibulinic acid, chubulagic acid, and d galloyl glucose. It contains free tannic acid, gallic acid, elagic acid, and resin. Myrobalanin. Anthraquinone glycosides, senosids have been reported in myrobalan. Myrobalan is reputed in Indian system of medicine as a drug for various types of diseases. Because of the antiseptic and healing properties of tannins, it is used externally in chronic ulcers, wounds, piles, and a stomachic. It is one of the drugs of the well-known preparation Tripala. It has purgative properties. Fine powder of myrobalan is also used in dental preparations. Another plant sources is nut gall, also known as blue galls and Turkish galls. Its biological source is the nut gall consists of the excrescence obtained from the young twigs of the dyer's oak, Quercus infectoria olivier family fagaceae. Excrescence is caused by the puncture of ovums of insect synopstinctoria or Adleria galatinctoriae olivier family synopidae. Oak galls are obtained principally from Asiatic Turkey. Speaking of chemical constituents, nut galls contains about 50% to 70% tannin mainly gallotannic acid which is official tannic acid. It also consists of 2% to 4% gallic acid, elagic acid, cytosterol, methylbalulate and methyl oleanolate which are methyl esters of bitulic and oleanolic acid. Recently few more compounds such as nictanthic acid, raburic acid and syringic acids have been reported from galls. It contains abundant starch. Tannic acid of commerce is a hydrolyzable tannin which yields gallic acid and glucose. The molecule of tannic acid may contain the gallic acid up to pentagaloyl glucose. It is isolated by fermentation and subsequent extraction of galls with water-saturated ether. Nut gall is the major source of tannic acid, which is largely used in tanning and dyeing industry and for the manufacture of ink. It is used medicinally as a local astringent in ointments and suppositories. The following are the process of galls formation. Early summers, Insect lay eggs on twigs of tree. Larvae comes out from eggs and enter soft epidermis. Larvae secretes enzyme that stimulate abnormal growth around larvae. Starch in the tissue gets converted to sugars and stimulate cell division. Disappearance of starch causes cell shrinkage. Central cavity is formed in which larvae and pupae grows. Larvae remains in gall for five to six months. Mature insect bores the covering of gall and escapes away. Galls are collected before escaping of insect. The last but not the least sources of tannin is the hamamelis with its biological source is the dried leaves of hamamelis virginiana. In terms of chemical constituents, hamamelis contains gallitonins, allogotannins, free gallic acid, pronthocyanidins, bitter principles, and traces of volatile oil. With ferric chloride solution the gallitonins and the free gallic acid give a blue color and the allogotannins, green. It also contain hamamelase. Hamamelis has astringent and hemostatic properties to the tannins. Hamamelatannin and the galloelated pronthocyanidins are reported to be potent inhibitors of 5-lipooxygenase, supporting the anti-inflammatory action of the drug. It ID widely used as an application to sprains, bruises, and superficial wounds and as an ingredient some of the uses of tannins are the following. Natural tannins are used to get leather from the animal skin in tanneries. Tannic acid is used as clarifying agent in alcoholic drinks. Tannic acid is used as aroma ingredient. Tannins are used in wine industry. Tannins produce different colors with ferric chloride according to the types of tannin. 
Tannin are components of industrial particle adhesive tannins are used for the production of anti-corrosive and primer for rusted steel prior to painting. Immobilized tannins have been tested to remove uranium from seawater.